Thanks so much for joining us, folks. I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Nadia Irampour. In just a few minutes from now, Governor Gavin Newsom is expected to hold a media conference. Yeah, they just uh, pushed back the time to 11.15 here, so we're keeping an eye on that. He's in San Joaquin County today to discuss vaccine distribution and the communities that need them most. News 8's Chris Grow joining us live now with more on what we know here. Chris? And this is really going to change up exactly and how much vaccine doses will be going to who and where, but it should have an impact on really all of California right now. So let's break down exactly what's going to be announced today. We know really some of the details, but we're still waiting on a few particulars. So what we know the governor is going to announce is the state's plan on setting aside 40% of vaccine doses for vulnerable communities. And when we say communities, I mean, we mean neighborhoods. They've actually identified four 400 zip codes across California that they have deemed to be hit hardest by COVID-19. Uh, a lot of these uh, neighborhoods uh, th scattered throughout California and essentially what they're going to be doing is identifying those in those zip codes who are eligible to receive the vaccine and trying to make sure they get it to them quickly. They've already identified about 8 million Californians that are eligible in those 400 zip codes. Now how it can impact everyone? Well, once 2 million vaccines doses are distributed to these communities, then the governor's office says it will revise the state's blueprint for a safer economy. For those of you that are maybe unfamiliar with that title, You've probably heard it a lot. Uh, it's referred to as that color coded tier system that we've all been under that restricts what businesses and churches and schools can do. Specifically, what's going to be revised is it will make it easier for counties to move into those lesser restriction color tiers, like going from purple to red. I'll give you an example right here. In, uh, for instance, San Diego County, we're at a 10.8 case rate, right? We're unable to get into the red tier. We're in that purple tier. Well, under this new change right now, they would actually increase what the case rate would need to be to move from purple to red. So go from seven to 10, which would then make it easier and a lot quicker, for instance, for San Diego and for other counties that are in the purple tier to move ahead. So that's expected to be detailed today, specifically what that case rate will end up being that will make it easier for counties that are in the purple to move to red and so forth down the line. What we are waiting to hear clarified a little bit more is if vaccination rates for individual counties will be considered in the blueprint for a safer economy. We know the governor talked about it at length yesterday. We talked about it this morning. However, it's it's not exactly listed on what they said that they were going to be talking about, but it does go hand in hand with this. So it'll be interesting to see exactly what is detailed. Again, as you guys pointed out, less than 15 minutes, we expect to hear from the governor, and we will have that live here on News 8 as well, streaming on CBS8.com. Eric Canetta, 